Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, for those who know me, uh, you know that I constantly reach out to whether it's local, state, or federal representatives. And I often ask my viewers to do the same. And we are under a time where it is imperative that we all band together and make our voices heard. And I, I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, there's 8 million-ish new gun owners. They probably don't know how to do this. Or maybe they're intimidated because I hear that a lot from people. How do I contact my reps, my senators, whatever. And it, I'm really intimidated to do it. And I'm, I just want to do a quick video. I did this video like four years ago. Uh, it's time for a rehash, but the information is the same. Um, how do we reach out to our elected officials and get our thoughts to them? So I'll just do a quick little uh, video here and just show you how easy it is. If you don't know who your representative or your state senator or your selectman, it's as easy as going online and typing in the search bar uh, find my Massachusetts legislators, find my U.S. Senator, find my whatever, City of Boston, uh, City Councilman or woman. And you use those links that'll come up and you always choose the actual government site. You'll see a bunch of ads for craziness. Always choose the government site. So for instance, if you see one, if you're looking for who's, find my U.S. Senator choose the one that's like senate.gov uh, as part of the link. And then on a majority of them, especially like uh, local, state, and federal, it'll say add your address and your city and zip. And that'll tell you based off your location, your residence, who your representative is. Regardless of the level, it'll tell you who your rep is for your precinct, for your ward, for your state. Okay, pretty easy. That'll take you seconds to do. Once you have that information, most of those sites have how to contact them. You just click the link of your person and it brings up their phone number to their office, or offices, especially if it's a federal rep or senator, you'll have their DC office as well as their local offices for whatever your state is. Um, and on the rep side as well. And then state offices do the same thing. Uh, they have local areas where they meet. You don't just have to always go to the capital, which is helpful in huge states like Alaska, or Texas, California. Um, so with that knowledge of how you find out who these people are, and you'll, you'll always get their information on how to contact them. The rest is really easy. And that's the part that, especially now where people are really, that we're more reserved than ever. We're more introverted than ever as a populace. You, you just have to get over that and you have to dial that number. And you're not going to get that rep unless you live in a very small community. Uh, like I know, I know people who live in New Hampshire and they can call their representatives on their personal line, basically. It's because they're so small. There's so, uh, so few people in the district. But that might not be the same for you. S say you live in whatever, uh, Los Angeles. You're not going to get your, your local person on the phone. You'll get somebody in the office, typically. And those aides will ask you, you know, what can I help you with? And and all you have to do is be semi-respectful. And, and it goes something just like this. Like, this is what I did this morning. I called up and they said, hi, how can I help you? Or uh, Senator Warren's office. And I said, hi, uh, my name is Jared. Gave him my last name. And I live in, gave him my city, town. And I'm calling to strongly suggest that Senator Warren does not support David Chipman for the director of the ATF. And I say that for these reasons. And I said, I, relate, I referenced Ruby Ridge, I referenced Waco, I referenced how he took pictures in front of remains of victims at that scene. Uh, I referenced uh, how he's been an anti-gun extremist uh, working for groups whose sole interest is to take lawful items away from responsible gun owners. And for those reasons and more, I believe he's unfit to lead the ATF. I believe it's a conflict of interest. It's as easy as that. You don't have to be that long-winded. You can be pointed and direct, but just know if you're calling on a bill, know the bill number and the title because shockingly, a lot of these people don't read all the bills. Sometimes they vote on them and don't even know what the bill is. They just told, yep, you should support that because, or you shouldn't support that because. 
And that's how a lot of, you know, the old Nancy Pelosi, we have to pass the bill to see what, to read what's in it. That's that kind of thought process. So just know what you're talking about, the bill number and the title and what the, what the bill looks to do and why you don't want them to support it or why you want them to support said bill. Now, I always follow it up with I eagerly await senators, the senator's response or the representative's response or the councilwoman's response. And please feel free to contact me. And I give them my phone number and my address, which they usually take right away. And that's when you're calling in person. It's that easy. If you're sending an email, it's even easier. It takes the personal part out of you. Just type away, send it to their office. Another way that I, I mean, well, first off, there's several different ways that you can contact these people. You can email them, of course. You can call them. Uh, you can hit them on their social media. And you can uh, write an actual snail mail letter. Holds a lot of weight. A lot of people don't do it anymore. Holds a lot of weight. And also uh, go see them in their office hours. That's a huge one. I prefer to see people face to face so that I can see that they're listening and I can get my point across. But I recommend you do all of them. Be that proverbial thorn in their side because the squeaky wheel gets the grease. You've heard all these things before and it's true. Now we might not win every single battle, but we can have our voices heard. And in some parts of the country, you'll have a lot of success. In other parts of the country, you won't. Like Elizabeth Warren doesn't care about an anti-gun candidate being put in uh, possibly to lead an anti-gun group. That's what she wants. But you know what? For me, silence is acceptance. And if we can get this vast group of gun owners in this country all in the same boat, all rowing in the same direction, we are a much more formidable group. We are a more powerful group and it's time to do it. It's easy to find their information, it really is. In fact, a lot of, especially the federal and state uh, guys and gals, uh, they'll have on, on the bottom, like in the contact us section, their social media hot links as well. You can just click right to it and follow up, send a message on Facebook or Twitter or whatever it is. Be relentless. I ask that each and every one of you, even those who are comfortable with it, do it. If you've done it, do it again. Uh, if you haven't done it, it's time to just take that extra step. You can do this. You absolutely can do this. I was one of those people who were like, man, I, I can't call a state rep. Like, they don't care what I say. You can do it. You have the power. We, the people, run this country. We, sometimes we forget it. They work for us. Uh, so don't be intimidated in calling these people. Um, so I, I hope that this helps. It's, it's, uh, it's a subject that for some people is a very difficult one to actually get to do. And I hope that you take this information and employ it and put it to use and share this with people who might be just like the rest of us. Maybe, ah, man, I don't want to call Diane Feinstein. I mean, she's Diane Feinstein. Like, she's Skeletor. She's been around for 100 years. Call her. Like I said, I got Ed Markey and, and, and Focahontas. I'm calling them. Uh, our governor, Charlie Baker, Rhino. I'm calling them. Uh, the AG's office. Call them. Call them. It's. Guys and gals, if we did it more often, we wouldn't be in the situations we find ourselves in sometimes. Not all the times. But uh, I, I ask you to do it. I ask you to help spread this awareness and help educate your friends and family on just how easy this is to do it. And uh, let's look forward to being a strong team and uh, making our impressions felt. All right, guys and gals, let me know down below if this helped you. If you have any other further questions about it, I hope I, hope I can get you to do it. Uh, it doesn't take much time. Also, if you're in the market for some of my shirts, so some people ask about these shirts, they're all soft. Uh, I'll have a link down below. You can check out the shirts I have and some patches and stuff like that. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Without you guys and gals out there, I don't do this. So thank you for your time. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, call these people.